Hey there guys, Derek Rydell here, founder of The Law of Emergence and author of the best-selling books, Emergence and The Abundance Project. And I just want to take a moment and talk about something that we talk about and we also feel uncomfortable about and feel kind of goofy about, which is loving ourselves. And, you know, it's the old exercise that used to happen in self-help and personal development programs where you had to look yourself in the mirror and say, Derek... I love you. And then you'd slightly throw up in your mouth and look around and make sure nobody was watching, right? It's not just me, right? And however, I really wanna stress that I feel this theme going on right now and it's so important, especially with new years and new resolutions and new commitments to improve ourselves and do better than last year. And so many of you are working on yourselves and in some way, if not in all ways, lose weight, you know, get in better shape, make more money, be more successful, heal your broken heart, get in a better relationship, improve the relationship you're in. And these are all great things. The problem is it's often coming from our wound. Even in all of our best efforts and best intentions to improve ourselves and improve our lives, grow our business, get our gifts in the world, the ego snatches it, the old pattern it might be coming from that we feel unworthy. We don't feel good enough. And so we start a program where we're embracing those shadows of unworthiness or not good enough. And we're, we're starting off even to love ourselves, to, to think better about ourselves. We're speaking affirmations. We're embracing aphorisms. We're, we're doing real good work. But at some point, if not initially, the ego snatches it. And it becomes just another way for us to not be there yet. You follow what I'm saying? It becomes another way where we are doing the work with an unconscious pattern and drive that if I just do this, I'll be enough. If I just achieve this, I'll have enough. If I just accomplish this or change this or fix this or heal this, then I'll feel good about myself. And so the problem is that what's driving the show, what's actually taking the program, what's going to the gym is a part of us that feels unworthy, inadequate, stupid, ugly, fat, not enough. And from that space, no matter what you do, <clears throat> no matter how much you accomplish, no matter how far you get, you'll never arrive at the place you actually want to be. You'll always feel inadequate and unworthy and not enough. You'll get more letters behind your name, but then it'll be like, if I could just get another letter behind my name. You'll lose that weight or gain that muscle and be like, but if I could just make sure I keep it off or build even more, if I could just make more money, if I could just write another book, if, 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 and we are on this constant journey, a hamster on a treadmill, and we don't understand why even when we achieve a lot of good things, we ultimately feel like, is this all there is? And so I really want to invite you today to make sure you include in your New Year's resolution, in your New Year, New You plan, a plan to love yourself. And I'm, I mean really love yourself. I mean fall head over heels in love with yourself. I mean begin taking the time to catch yourself in the act of doing things right to catch yourself in the act of being awesome, right? You know, you, you, you walk by the mirror, you catch a glimpse of yourself, and you're like, damn, I'm looking fine today, <laughs> right? You, you, you give yourself the opportunity and practice to talk to yourself the way you want to be talked to, to fill yourself the way you want or think others or other things would fill you, to make it a practice every day. Yes, even that goofy self-help exercise to look in the mirror and say, I love you, I value you, I respect you, you're amazing. And if you hear that voice say, oh my God, I cannot believe you're saying that. Who do you think you are? I hate you, you suck, you're ugly, look at those wrinkles, look at what you did today or didn't do today. That's okay, that's gonna come up. Love casts out all fear. It's gonna bring up the voices it's going to flush out all those, those vermin, all those little 
creatures slithering around in the dark when you start pouring love in. And then when that comes up, you meet that part of yourself too. Thank you for sharing. I love you too. And if you're willing to do that every single day as a practice, you'll build a new subjective habit. Understand that all of our attempts to be something, do something, achieve something, become someone, all of our arguments with our spouses and our partners and our children and our friends and the world is an argument that we can only win within ourselves. All of that attempt to convince your spouse that you're better or that you're not bad, it's only an argument you can win within yourself. All of those reactions to all the people you don't like in the world is a reaction to a part of yourself you don't like. And you can only bring peace and reconcile it within yourself. So make a pact today. Make a commitment to fall in love with you, to make you your best friend. All of life is on your side. Now it's time to get on your own side. I'm on your side with you. And I look forward to supporting you in loving yourself, in shining your light so bright that people have to wear sunglasses around you, and in living your best year ever. And until next time, remember to live authentically, love unconditionally, and follow your destiny. Take care.